So they've got the white chocolate macadamia nut cookie dough um, and their traditional chocolate chip cookie dough. And then they've got a new one, the festive spice dried fruit and walnut cookie dough. And we're getting ready to go to my mother-in-law's for a little Christmas tea, a little get together. So we've got our flowers that we're gonna take. This came from the Bondi markets. And I've got the cookies in the oven. And there they are. Pardon the messy oven if it's messy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it smells amazing. I'm about to take them out. And I love the idea of sort of like homemade, but also very convenient. So I'm all about that. Um, I do that with a lot of my meals, like pre-marinated salmon sometimes and things like that. I'll definitely do too, just to make life a little bit easier as a mom. Um, but still feel like you're really cooking for your little ones. I do the same thing with the purees for Annabelle. Often I'll use um, either a little bite size or nourishing bubs or something that comes frozen. I then heat that up and I still feel like I'm doing something and nourishing for my, my kids and feeling like I'm being super mom. <laughs> Um, and not actually taking the time to puree everything. I thought I was gonna puree, puree everything, kind of like I did with Brooke's second baby. Mm -mm. Like a mom yesterday said to me, with the first baby, you treat them like glass, and the second baby, you treat them like you can't break them. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's so funny. Anyway, these cookies are amazing, and a little healthy tip that I have for making cookies and desserts around the holidays, because we all wanna indulge and enjoy, and, and you know, Food is a great like unifier and brings all of us together. But so when I make cookies, if you notice, they're about this big rather than really big, so I can go back and have two or three and really feel like I'm indulging, but still not totally split. Yeah, you know, Belle? Yeah, you know, Belle?